Hi there. I am Lord Frederick Phillips. I side with the crown as a wealthy landowner and the successor to my father's seat in the New York Assembly. I want to start with the accusations brought about by the Patriots. They claim that they have given no consent to be taxed and that their property isn't preserved or protected. These accusations have no factual support, proving that the Patriot leadership is finding their claims from false interpretations of the Crown and of the British. In fact, the Patriot leadership is made up of the nouveau riche. Their argument is ultimately unjust and illegitimate. It is important for me to start out with the idea of consent, since the confusion surrounding the term. John Locke, in his second treatise, defined tacit consent by explaining that every man who is enjoying or taking advantage of the privileges of the land under British jurisdiction is giving his tacit consent to be governed by the laws of the British government. Whether you are permanently occupying a piece of land, that could be a heritable piece of land, or traveling on a piece of land for a week, say on a highway, you are within British jurisdiction and therefore under British laws. I also think it's important to note that if the Patriots continue on the path that they are, they need to proceed with caution. It's obvious that leaving the comfort and safety of the British Empire is scary and uncertain. Staying within this society allows for your property to be protected and preserved bias and self-interest to be eliminated. Known and indifferent judges determining our differences and an abundance of support to back sentences and allow for proper execution of those sentences. Staying within this controlled society is the only way to limit the chaos that would come about in your liberated country. But I wanna ask you this one question, patriots. Do you not consider yourself Englishmen? Weren't your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather Englishmen? Because no Englishman is truly taxed based on their own consent. Every Englishman is taxed and not one in 20 represented. In our mother country, Manchester and Birmingham, two of the most wealthy trading sites in the entire empire, do not send representatives to the parliament due to virtual representation. Most individuals have no right to vote. That is the same in Great Britain as it is here in the colonies. But of those voters, few have any personal knowledge of him to whom that they grant and entrust their fortune and their liberty. With this type of representation, there's always talk of general interest the participation of public councils. And men are limited to the amount of advantage they can take and the corruption they can, they can ensue on others. No matter the number of representatives, a place within the empire will always be represented within the general scheme through virtual representation. As I finish off this speech, I think it's important to talk about the colony's origins. Where exactly did these colonies come from? All of us have a background in Great Britain. Every single man in this room, every single man in this room, excuse me. So as a final note, it's important to think about how the colonies are a product of the British Empire. Colonies are granted a charter by the king. We all know this. They are allowed to make their own laws, yet they subsist by this grant. Therefore, they act and are subject under this authority. Samuel Johnson, a great, a great, great mind, said in regards to the relationship between the colonies and England, the mother country always considers the colonies thus connected as part of itself. The prosperity or unhappiness of either is the prosperity or unhappiness of both. 
The colonies have always been treated as constituents of the empire, no matter the distance, no matter the ocean between us. They are, therefore, the colonies, I mean, therefore are governed by English laws. They are entitled to English dignities, regulated by English councils, protected by English arms, subject to English government, and ultimately chargeable by English taxation. Thank you.